The MiG-31 was developed during the Cold War to address the Soviet Union's need for a high-speed, long-range interceptor capable of countering strategic bombers and low-flying cruise missiles. Its predecessor, the MiG-25, was fast but lacked the necessary avionics and endurance to effectively protect Soviet airspace. Engineered by Mikoyan, the MiG-31 incorporated lessons learned from the MiG-25. The design team focused on improving avionics, radar capabilities, and endurance. The result was a robust airframe capable of carrying advanced radar systems and a larger fuel load. The MiG-31 underwent extensive testing throughout the 1970s. These tests focused on validating its performance at high altitudes and speeds, as well as its ability to detect and engage multiple targets simultaneously. Despite some initial setbacks, the aircraft proved to be a formidable interceptor. The MiG-31 specifications are impressive. Mass 41,000 kg, 90,390 pounds loaded. Length 22.69 meters, 74 feet, 5 inches. Wingspan 13.46 meters, 44 feet, 2 inches. Weapons 4R, 33 air-to-air -air missiles, 6R, 40 or R, 60 missiles, and a 23 mm GSH, 6-23M cannon. Speed 3,000 km per hour, 1,860 miles per hour at high altitude. Range 3,000 km, 1,860 miles with drop tanks. These stats highlight the MiG-31's role as a high-speed, long-range interceptor. One of the MiG-31's key advantages is its powerful Zaslan phased array radar, which allows it to detect and track up to 10 targets simultaneously. Its high speed and long range make it an excellent platform for intercepting enemy bombers and cruise missiles. The MiG-31 typically operates with a crew of two, a pilot and a weapon systems officer. This setup allows for better workload distribution, especially during high-speed intercept missions. Despite its strengths, the MiG-31 has some drawbacks. Its large size and heavy weight make it less maneuverable than smaller fighters. Additionally, its high operational costs and complex maintenance requirements are significant challenges. Soviet military doctrine during the Cold War emphasized the defense of vast airspaces against potential NATO incursions. The MiG-31 was designed to fulfill this role by providing long-range, high-speed interception capabilities, ensuring the integrity of Soviet airspace. To address its limitations, the MiG-31 has undergone several upgrades over the years. These upgrades have focused on improving avionics, radar systems, and weapons integration, ensuring that the aircraft remains effective in modern air defense roles. In total, around 500 MiG-31s were produced. Despite the end of the Cold War, the MiG-31 remains in service with the Russian Air Force, continually upgraded to meet contemporary threats. The MiG-31 stands as a testament to Soviet engineering and Cold War-era innovation. Its legacy as a high-speed interceptor continues to influence modern aircraft design and air defense strategies. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into aviation history.